how to stop cramps. It is the number one question that I get as the period empress, and I'm gonna answer it for you today. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm sure that a lot of people would wanna benefit from knowing that you don't even just have to to treat the pain of cramps temporarily. You don't have to just get cramp relief. You can actually stop cramps all together. So please like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm first gonna talk about it in terms of short-term relief. Now, if you wanna get rid of cramps, a very easy thing that you can do is to apply a hot compress. I am a big fan of the heating pad, and when I was suffering from painful cramps, before I switched to pain-free, PMS-free, and regular cycles, then I would often take a heating pad, put it in my pants, and plug in everywhere that I was. Whether I was at work, whether I was at home, whether I was hanging out with my friends, wherever I was, I would find an outlet and I would plug in because it helped relieve the pain. Cramps are cramps are cramps, they suck. So an easy way to do that, an easy way to start is hot water bottle or my preference, to use a heating pad. That is one form of short-term relief for cramps. The second way to create short-term relief for cramps is to use ibuprofen or paracetamol or other forms of pain relievers that you can get without a prescription. The key is to use these pain relievers three to five days in advance of your day one of your cycle. And you wanna use 250 milligrams or 200 milligrams five days out. Then you might move to 350 or 400 four days out. Then you might move to the same amount three days out. You're gonna ramp up your dosages of the pain reliever so that by the time you get to day one of your cycle, you will feel a lower amount of pain. The pain may still be the same amount, but it will have been fed this pain relief in advance so it never gets to the high level that it was if you did not do this ramp up in dosage. That is the second way. And of course, keep the dosage at the highest level for if you find that it's normally your first three days, keep the dosage at the highest level during that time to keep yourself in balance and out of pain, to keep the pain relieved. Now, that is another temporary way to end, to mitigate your pain from your cramps. Before we get to the third way, you might be wondering, why am I an authority to tell you about how to get rid of your cramps? Well, first of all, I lived it for two decades. I never had a cycle before I switched to pain-free, PMS-free, and regular cycles. I never had a menstrual cycle that didn't include debilitating pain, that didn't include cramps during my PMS and during my first three days of my cycle. Not only did I have cramps, I had cramps, I had menstrual migraines, I had back pain, I had insomnia, and I had vomiting as a result of the pain. I was in a lot of pain, so I developed quite a few different ways to mitigate the pain, and I'm giving you the ways that worked best so that you don't have to go through the pain that I went through before I knew that there was a way to actually stopping cramps altogether. So let's stay, let's get back to it, and we're gonna go, we're gonna look at the third way to relieve cramps. Again, this is temporary relief of cramps. We're going to get to how to, to the way to end cramps altogether after this third way. So the third way to relieve cramps is to do aerobic activity. Aerobic activity actually helps feed other feed endorphins to your body. And the same way, uh, you might see this in movies, um, when somebody is collapsing in pain, they might actually give themselves a shot of adrenaline to get out of the situation. That shot of adrenaline gives them the idea, it, it feeds their body the idea that they feel good, that they're okay. Releasing endorphins as we do in rigorous aerobic exercise has that same effect. It tells our body that everything is okay. It feeds our body the 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 communication that we're not in pain and it masks the pain that we're in. Now, those three methods that I just offered are all ways to mask and to temporarily relieve menstrual cramps. The third way that I offered is one that is often prescribed by doctors before they move their clients into birth control. Birth control is another topic that I tackle and while it is safe if you're using it as birth control, it is not safe if you're using it to mask symptoms. 
So the fourth way to relieve menstrual cramps might be to go on birth control. I, in my journey through two decades of debilitating menstrual pain and suffering, was put on many different varieties of birth control and none of them relieved menstrual symptoms, I mean, excuse me, relieved menstrual cramps. They did help keep me regular for periods of time, but eventually that would stop working as well. And we did not want to go into too heavy of hormone dosages because my body was already so wacky. So we didn't go into extreme levels of, of birth control. Um, we tried to use the light to medium levels. So the thing about birth control also, before I get too far away from the topic, is that it is forcing your body to be a certain way that your body doesn't want to be. And the lovely metaphor for that is to take a beach ball and to push it underwater. You're forcing the beach ball, which wants to be above water, it's full of air, it wants to float. You're pushing it underwater. The longer you push it underwater, the more potential energy it's going to gather until it eventually explodes. And that is why we see so many cases where people are put on birth control for long term and then their body just suddenly breaks down and they find themselves long term um, menstrually shedding slash bleeding or having very, very, very uh, weird cycles that are for short and then long and they're suddenly being like, kind of like a balloon running out of air where it kind of shoots itself all around the room in these wild directions. They're kind of being run, their, their period is running wild and it's taking them with them, taking them with it. So we want to stay away from that. We want to use birth control for its purpose, not to treat very, very, very treatable menstrual disorders. Now, the third way that I described is also very dangerous for your body. Yes, you get the short-term relief of not having cramps, but when your body is menstrually shedding, that is a time that your body expects to be able to restore itself. When you are doing high-level aerobic activity, you are stripping the body of its resources because it does not, it is not physiologically oriented to burn fuel at a high level like that. So it is very detrimental to your long-term health and to the health of your body over the course of the next cycle to do high-level aerobic activity in order to treat your period cramps, your menstrual cramps. When you do this, the next phase that your body goes into, the follicular phase, what I call the soldier phase, will be kneecapped. It will not be able to do what it needs to do because it's going to keep trying to restore and recover all the nutrients that it lost during the restorative phase. So please, 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 even though I'm telling you this stuff, this is short-term relief. And as I've said before, and if you've watched my videos, short-term pain, short-term gain is long-term pain. So let's get to the good stuff. How do we stop menstrual cramps? We orient our body to encourage its innate strengths. We orient our life to nurture our body's physiological needs, which are entirely distinct from the physiological needs of people who do not have a uterus, who were born without a uterus, because some of us were born, without a, were born with a uterus and we no longer have it. No, 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 you're still in our camp. We experience the same cycles, the same hormone cycles that they go through, but they go through them in 24 hours. We go through them in 28 days, which means that our life needs to be led in an entirely different way. And when we live according to our physiological needs, based on this hormone schedule, we find that we are four different ways and we need four different ways, four different forms of nurturing during that 28 day cycle, during our menstrual cycle. When we cater to those needs, when we stop pretending that we are like them and we just be who we are, we actually find that our cycles get regular, PMS disappears, and our pain during our first three days and during our entire priestess phase, which we might know biologically as the menstrual phase, it stops. It stops because Menstrual disorders are simply that. It is when the womb is out of order. Menstrual imbalance is that, is when the womb is out of balance. So we allow and nurture balance. And when we do that naturally, without supplements, without manipulating our body by feeding it different diet, different exercise to 
create chemical processes and actions by not feeding it certain hormones so that we can keep going on this treadmill that is defined and that works for an entirely different being. When we lean into our innate strengths, we thrive and we effect and we succeed in a way that matches the same results as those people who were born without a uterus. But we don't accomplish these results in the same way. We accomplish them through easeful impact. When we're living in alignment with this this amazing piece of biotechnology that is located in the center of our bodies for a reason. It's in the center of our bodies. It wants to be acknowledged. Hey, look at me, look at me. Center of attention. Yeah, center of attention in the center of our body. When we live in a way that meets its needs, it doesn't take any sacrifice, doesn't take any suffering. It's just better for better for better. Then the cramps stop because the only reason the cramps existed was to express that things are not okay. So if you want to have a sustained end to menstrual cramps, check us out. Check out the collective. It is a wonderland that is entirely dedicated to showing you how to live your way into pain-free, PMS-free, and regular cycles without any sacrifice. You don't have to stop eating meat. You don't have to start doing things on a regimented schedule that is informed from outside of you with lists and checklists. No, 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 no. You be into your thriving. And we make that as easy as possible. So I hope you'll join us in the collective. But in the meantime, you have ways for temporary relief. Four ways, actually. And you know that there is a way to long-term sustained ending so that you don't even have to relieve the, pain, the cramps. Can you imagine it? I remember the first time I realized I didn't know where my ibuprofen was in my house. I remember going, oh my God, it's because I haven't needed it in so long. That's there for you. If it can happen for me, oh boy, it can happen for you. <laughs> Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace.